So California is one of the most famous states here in America and has so many top-notch university brands that you guys have heard of. And today we've got a fun story of a student who's studying at USC, the University of Southern California, doing a master's in computer science. And you're gonna learn so much. Grab some chai and join us. Hey friends, welcome to Chai and Coaching. Rob here, and thanks for joining this video. Uh, we've got a really fun conversation about USC and California, and we love helping you guys out in your cross-cultural journey, especially you guys who want to study abroad. I know California is a huge destination for international students in the US, and you guys are going to learn so many important things in this video. So our friend today is Ayush, and Ayush, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Ayush. I am from Mumbai. I have a four years of work experience back in India. And right now I am studying computer science at University of Southern California. As a side hustle and passion, I have also started a YouTube channel where I talk about USC specifically, inspired by Rob. Uh, I also want to help people out there. So let's get started on this journey. Yeah, be sure to check out Ayush's YouTube channel, especially if you want to go deeper into USC. And it's really fun to get to collab today with this. Ayush, to kick us off, why did you choose to come do a master's in America after four years of work experience back in your home in India? Definitely. That's the one question which I've been asked a lot by many of my friends and people out there. So let me go back a step in my journey, why I chose master specifically. I have been working at Amazon as a cloud support engineer for three years. Then I got to work at Zynga, the gaming company, if you have heard about, for a short term of nine to eight months. In this journey, I realized that I have to pursue my career in cloud computing only. I love the technology. I love to help people and share my knowledge as well. So this was a good time for me to deepen my knowledge about cloud computing, specifically computer networking. I was a bit scared of networking during my college days, undergrad college days. So I thought it's a great opportunity to face the fear, learn more about it and explore cross-country culture. So that was one of the biggest reasons of coming to US and uh, pursuing my degree in computer science with computer network specialization at USC. Nice. So Ayush, tell us a little bit, what was your profile and why did you choose USC? I gave my GRE back in 2016 when I graduated and my GRE score was 313 with, if I'm not wrong, 168 in cons and 144-ish, 145 in verbal. My verbal was not that good back then. And uh, I gave my TOEFL towards the end when I thought that, okay, now I have to pursue master's. And it was 112 with my CGPA of 8.84. I have done my undergrad from Mumbai University. And uh, mainly my SOP and LOR focused around my work experience because it was completely linked in my career path and what I wanted to pursue, that is cloud computing, computer networks. So that was our overall look like. Great. And then, yeah, what made you choose USC for your master's option? So I had applied to seven universities with the two admits that I got. One was from Buffalo, University of Sunny Buffalo, and University of Southern California was the second one. USC was the only one giving me a specialization in computer networks. And mm. I honestly wanted to face my fear because I don't know when will I get this chance again. USC was for the curriculum, hands down. Then if I go by the priority order, the second was the location because it is in California. It is very close to companies that I look forward to mm -hmm. be working in. And uh, third is a great alumni network that USC Fantastic. provides us. Yeah, USA is definitely a top brand, top institution. So what are some of the things that incoming students should expect before coming to live and study there in Los Angeles? First thing that I personally feel they have to be ready is the change of the way how curriculum is designed, how assignments are done, how the overall study structure is designed in USA. As Rob has already mentioned in many of his videos that there will be certain cultural shocks, but because everything is global, we are making these videos to help you out, guys. It will not be massive, personally, trust me. So be prepared for the change of education style. And second, when you are coming to USC specifically, because, you know, there's so the admit ratio is very high. There are many international students. You might feel lost somewhere. Don't let that happen. Talk to your seniors, talk to your mentors. You have a great facilities provided by USC. The advisors are awesome. Your professors are always willing to talk to you in their office hours. Make sure to do that. And that would definitely cover you up. As many students know, America is expensive and California is one of the most expensive places in the States. So yeah, what are the student expenses like for USC for students? Definitely, USC is expensive, hands down, no questions asked. And LA is also expensive. 
the rents are pretty high if you compare to other locations around here so that was one thing that you have to be mentally prepared so what i did personally before coming here was i planned my expenses i knew that there are certain expenses which are going to happen like rent food my gadgets like laptop my other need to be necessary stuff which i have to spend so i had jotted that down if i talk about my first month expense it was roughly around 1000 to 1500 dollars which included my rent it included my other groceries that i had to buy because the day you're moving into your house you have to buy certain stuff to get your life started but again that was not the same for upcoming months rob what i'll do is i'll share a excel sheet where i have tracked all my expenses so you can definitely go and check it out over there fantastic you have a link down in the video description for you guys check that out and you can kind of see a more detailed version of ayush's budget and expenses to give you guys a picture of what that's like here in america and i know because yes. of the cost um students ask well how can i afford it and on campus jobs can definitely help students pay the bills their monthly expenses and what are on campus job opportunities like there at usc great question to be honest so we have many on campus jobs available even though right now we are stuck because of covid the campus is not open still we have many on campus opportunities available there is this misconception that we don't have libraries open we don't have restaurants open so i will not get on campus job trust me that is not true only thing that we all have to remember is we have to be persistent with applications i'll tell my story the day i landed i got access to a portal called connect sc that is an internal portal of usc i applied to whichever positions i thought i could fit and be a good match every monday for 3 months straight i only got four or five replies that okay we can continue with the interview and hmm. touch what luckily i got two on campus jobs not even one and i'm able to make sufficient money to pay off my rent and also save something and invest something if i need apart from connect sc definitely talk to your professors for grader jobs for ta jobs you might not get that for the first semester but in the upcoming semester definitely you will get it if you are persistent and you work hard definitely and just like getting full-time jobs the same as with on-campus jobs and the more people you know the more about networking the more opportunities you guys are going to have there even for the on-campus jobs a lot of them are from referrals absolutely 90% i would say some referrals and uh, that is the thing i applied to so many positions via the portal but out of the two jobs which i got one was from referral i spoke to a senior and she referred me to her manager we had a proper interview and yeah it converted fantastic congratulations that always feels good <laughs> definitely yes awesome so our chai question for this video is what is your favorite college in california california has so many famous universities top ranked colleges and programs i know i usually is biased towards usc but <laughs> let us know in the comments what is your favorite California college or university. I used to have a favorite one there in California that's other than USC. When I was in undergrad and I was naive, I was aiming for Berkeley. Mm. But uh, right now obviously USC, but if not for USC then Berkeley. Yeah, I mean so many great ones in in California like USC, Stanford, Berkeley, UCLA, the whole UC system, the Cal State system, so many great options. Let us know in the comments what you guys think is your favorite or dream school there in California. Definitely, please do that. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about the course. I used to tell us about the MS in Computer Science course there at USC. Kind of, what's the curriculum like, and what's the job scope? So in USC, we have two kind of courses. First, if we are going for Computer Science General, that is a twenty-eight unit program, and if we are going for a specialization, that's a thirty-two unit program. And per semester, we can take two courses that combines to be eight units in summer. if we have time and if we want we can take one more course that will be four units because i am in computer network major i have to cover 32 units and in my first semester i have taken algorithms and introduction to computer networks so these are the two courses that i am taking I'm talking about job market specifically because we are in california location it is the mecca madina if i would say of it jobs and jobs are plenty like they are endless it's just that you have to be at the right place right moment and be prepared for it are you sure you mean by being prepared for it great question being prepared from what i mean is you have applied to a job you don't know when they will reply back and when they reply back they will ask you to schedule an interview within a day or two if i'm not wrong so 
we should be prepared with our coding skills if we are looking for a coding that is software developer roles if we are looking for a devops kind of role then we should be well versed with the ci cd pipelines the concepts over that side mm-hmm. and depending on the profiles that we are looking at we definitely cannot study in that two days so it's a everyday hustle and that is what i personally mean by being prepared thanks for explaining on that next let's talk about student life and the student experience there at usc what does it mean to be a trojan at usc first thing is as we are a trojan the trojan family is awesome wherever and whomsoever you see and if you do a fight on as a symbol of a trojan uh, they would reply back with warm hearts apart from that right now i have actually come in spring 21 the campuses are closed unfortunately because of covid so i did not get a chance to explore the actual campus life but what i have heard from seniors and what i have explored so far the campus is very happening so right now i am in campus this is one of the colleges building uh, it's a communication school where i'm sitting and recording this it's great we have parties still going on at on off campus houses and at university houses so it's vibe the vibe is awesome so just to correlate if you are from bangalore you can definitely relate to what the vibe is over here at LA. Yeah, I'm really excited with, you know, the vaccines coming out for the fall semester to get back to the normal for all the colleges here that you can have the the events and the organizations, the activities, the sporting events and all the fun things that happen outside the classroom for that student experience and you're going to love it there. Uh, I know there's so many great traditions and great pride and USC sports is a really big deal too. 100%. USC has produced many athletes over here. And talking about vaccination please get vaccinated even i have taken my first shot i have my second shot coming up uh, day after tomorrow so whichever vaccination you are getting please make sure to take it because we all have to do this to get out of this crisis definitely yeah that will help the colleges get back to normal for sure so this has been wonderful i've learned so much makes me want to come visit out there in la and usc so california is my native place when i was a kid i lived oh. in the bay area in los angeles so i love visiting out there And yeah, I know that you're going to have a great time I you. So thank you so much for giving us just a brief highlight of your story. Pleasure that is all mine, trust me. And if you have any questions for me, you can drop into Rob on the comments or reach out to him on LinkedIn and maybe we can have part 2, part 3. Who knows? Let's see how yeah, it goes. Good. Let okay. us know if you guys want to cover some more topics here and yeah, be sure to check out Ayush's YouTube channel as well. Uh, he's going to have some great resources there that we haven't discussed in this conversation. And again, uh we want to help you guys be successful in your journey. So connect with us online on social media. Be sure you're part of the Chine Coaching newsletter or Discord server. We want to keep investing in you guys. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you guys yeah. next time at Chine Coaching. Cheers. Bye, Tom.